How many people out there question their own consumption of television and other forms of passive entertainment? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little dis Friday discussion about entertainment and television. This crossed my mind a lot lately because we don't do uh, really any passive entertainment here. You know, when you um, have a house to take care of and, and family and pets and uh, blogs and vlogs to write, you, you just really don't find yourself entertaining yourself much. And I, I wonder how many other people out there question their own consumption of television and and you know what a streaming media and and just going on on social media spending hours upon hours gazing at other people's lives and so on instead of creating something building something learning something um you know a lot of, a lot of i see a lot of younger people out there who uh you know forego the, the educational process or jobs to try and just experience life which uh when you think about it, experiencing going on vacation is sort of a passive form of entertainment as well. Oh, I'm going to go here and sit by the pool and drink Mai Tais and uh, take pictures of myself in a bikini or, or a thong. I, I don't know. I, I just wonder, like, I see some people, well, I only watch a half hour or, of TV a day. And I did the math and quickly in my head. And, and a half hour a day of television watching, for instance, is four and a half weeks of full work weeks, full 40 hour work weeks, uh, or an hour a day is nine weeks of working. Imagine, and two hours a day, you're, you're pushing, uh, you know, almost, and that's 18 weeks of 40 hour work weeks that uh, could be done doing something else. Imagine you had 18 hour, I mean, 18 weeks to learn how to, like, carpentry or to learn how to fix a car or plumbing. Um, it's, it's just amazing, and I, I just uh, don't, I can't understand anymore. I mean, coming from a, a camp that used to have a DVR back in the day before they had streaming, um, and I would have to catch up on my shows. Oh, I have seven shows. I have to watch some or my hard drive's going to be full. And I would sit there for hours, and, and most of the time that included eating, junk food, pizza, chips, uh, beer, and, and, you know, three, four hours a day sometimes. And did you get anything from it? I mean, it's not like, you know, if I spent my time learning something, I, in my spare time outside of the learning, I'm still thinking about the learning process. And the same was true for television. I would watch a, like a gripping TV show, I don't know, 24 or something like that. I used to watch Alias too. This shows how long ago it was. And I would, you know, there'd be times throughout the day or when I'm not watching television that I would be using my brain time to think about the television show. So that's even more time wasted. So it's just fascinating and I know a lot of people talk about this and people are, are starting to watch less TV but at the same time some people are probably watching even more because I see people watching TV on their little phones on a four or five inch or six inch screen what consuming media and laughing ha 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 they're like they're not even looking around the world to see how things work or trying to connect the dots and how people live and what's changed in their neighborhood or in the last 10 years, hey, look, there's more uh, people that weren't born here now, or wow, th these people are have a lot more money than I do, uh, or uh, look at the kind of cars people are buying; they're all hybrids. Um, I wonder if they're, you know, paying a lease or, or did they buy it off? You know, it's like you could put your mind to better use. And another thing, people say, well, I'm just uh, relaxing after a long day, and. I don't know if just watching passive entertainment like television and movies is really considered rest. If you really want to rest after a long day, you should probably get a, an extra half hour or hour of sleep because that does uh, a lot of good. Your body will rebuild and your cells will regenerate and you'll have some good REM sleep if you don't drink too much. So I, I just wonder why, and I know YouTube and all these streaming channels like the one this is streaming on, or uh, playing on, it has replaced TV for a lot. And I have to admit, I, I do use YouTube from time to time, but most of the time it's 
for educational purposes. I, I do look at a lot of uh, um, repair videos, and only after I've tried repairing something myself that I uh, that I look at those things. Is I think trying things by yourself first, firsthand, is is a good starting point. And if only after repeated failures or frustration might you go to the uh, vault of information online. But that's it. I, I just wonder how many people are, are starting to think about uh, whether watching television and sitting down and doing nothing is, is really worth it for you. If people just want to be, you know, slothy and doing nothing. I mean, like if you won the lottery, would you like had a billion dollars, would you just sit around and be pampered all day long? with servants and feeding you and just sitting there being entertained or pleasured somehow, getting massages all day. Like at what point would you become bored and want a purpose in your life? So I think TV fills just this fine line because you know, the people that watch TV 20 hours a day end up dying young because they get sick and, and obese. I don't know. That's it. Something for you to think about this weekend. Have a good weekend.